Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today we will talk about ultrasound of fetal face anomalies. Number one, anophthalmia. Ultrasound diagnosis. In microphthalmia, there is decrease in the size of the eyeball and in anophthalmia, there is absence of the eyeball, optic nerve and chiasma. Both can be unilateral or bilateral. Number two, cataract. Ultrasound diagnosis, unilateral or bilateral opacity of the lens. Bilateral lesions are usually syndromic, whereas unilateral are usually related to fetal infections. The next is decreosystocele. Ultrasound diagnosis, to the cyst, 75% unilateral and 25% bilateral between the lower part of the orbit and the nose. About 90% of decreosystocele are due to delayed canalization of the lacrimal duct beyond 32 weeks gestation. Differential diagnosis includes anterior encephalocele. They are often associated with intracranial abnormalities such as hydrocephalus and hemangiomas. They are usually solid or multi-septated and dermoid cysts. They are usually located superolaterally. The next is epignathus, ultrasound diagnosis, solid tumor arising from the sphenoid bone, hard and soft palate, the pharynx, the tongue and the jaw. The tumors grows into the oral or nasal cavity or intracranially. Differential diagnosis includes neck teratomas, encephalocele's and other tumors of the facial structures. Polyhydramnus due to pharyngeal compression is usually present. The next, facial cleft. Ultrasound diagnosis. The typical cleft lip appears as a linear defect extending from one side of the lip into the nostril. Cleft palate associated with cleft lip may extend through the alveolar ridge and the hard palate reaching the floor of the nasal cavity or even the floor of the orbit. Both transverse and coronal planes are necessary for the diagnosis. Color Doppler may be useful to demonstrate flow across the palate in the case of cleft palate. Diagnosis of isolated cleft palate is difficult. Hypertelorism, ultrasound diagnosis, increase interorbital diameter more than 90% percentile. Mm -hmm. 
hypotelorism, ultrasound diagnosis, decreased interorbital diameter less than 5th percentile. Hypotelorism is part of the midline migration defects together with hollow brosencephaly, which is almost always present. The degree of hypotelorism can be extreme as in cyclopia. The next is micrognathia, ultrasound diagnosis. It is a subjective finding of prominent upper lip and receding chin in the mid-sagittal view of the face. This finding may be due to micrognathia, short mandible or retrognathia, backward displacement of the mandible. Severe micrognathia is associated with polyhydramnios after 25 weeks gestation due to glossoptosis, normal tongue obstructing small oral cavity. The last abnormality in our lecture is nose anomalies. Ultrasound diagnosis, there is a spectrum of midline abnormalities of the nose in association with holoprosencephaly, including arania, complete absence of the nasal structures, proboscis, soft tissue appendage projecting from just below the forehead, and single nostril, usually central. Thank you for watching and goodbye.